Alrighty, so my ally Bavaria has gotten me involved in a war. Oh, you don't have a leader. In fact, I suspect most of my guys probably don't have leaders. Um, oh yeah, I should deal with that. So you just go back here, recruit yourself one. Um, you... These guys move away from here so that I can have these mobilization troops do their thing. go here. Yeah, okay. You've got a leader. You don't. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a bit of a switcheroo. I've got a hole in my line there. Oh, that's right. I, I remember that, actually. I, uh, I was like, I gotta make sure I get that guy moving before the episode ends. So that, uh, in case I forget. Okay. Just in case UK actually, um, is able to somehow get access through France. I'm gonna have some of this border covered. And man, all those times I'm like, eh, I don't need engineers. It doesn't matter so much as long as I can win the battles. Right now, I'm wishing I had them. So, shows, uh, shows what I know. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do here, go like this. And these guys can just go here to hold that, so I can extend my line. Um, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a switcheroo here, as before. Oh, don't need two of these infantry. Doesn't matter too much on these armies. Now some just come by to be occupying troops. Here. Move on to Dusseldorf. So this war. It's so. Bavaria wants to get Germany to admit hegemony. And. I might actually even... Might even let them have that one. But I need to think about what I'm getting out of this, you know? Not like it's a great war, so I don't want to be too greedy. But... You know, I probably want to get something. You don't need to be anything in particular. Um, you get yourself just a leader to not be no leader. And yeah, march down this way. That'll do. And here... Yeah, leave some of your guys behind to occupy stuff. Um, you guys go up here to occupy stuff. In fact, some of you, as soon as... Yeah, you come this way. Let's speed things up a bit, shall we?
But right now, we're probably losing a lot in battles. Oh no, we're not actually losing anything on battles. Oh my, hang on, you're attacking. Um, I'm okay with that. Okay, you need to have a leader, so you at least don't get the minus two. Um, just have a couple of guys go up here. Alright, you actually want to stay here a sec anyway, so you can get a leader. A general. You're attacking there. This is actually quite an opportunity for me, potentially. Come here. Oh, not sure what my dog's barking about. Sorry about that. Probably just barking at the cats. What do people want most? Sure, you can have a free press. I'm, I'm very progressive and benevolent that way. <sighs> They're probably barking at nothing. You know, if they don't shut up in a sec, I'll go deal with it. There, that German army will be surrounded. Don't think I'll be able to occupy get everything here soon enough, but the German army at least is fucked. Try. Yeah, that's what I thought. Get you a general. Yeah, I'm just, I've got so much success that I'm having a hard time organizing my entire front. First world problems, eh? Oh, there goes a... Uh, German attack. Oh man, they're really trying to attack all along my front right now. Um, Okay, yeah, that's fine being right there. Hey, more diplomatic influence. That's important. Which reminds me, I ought to look for a sec at Columbia, which should get me, you know, I should be getting to a hundred pretty soon. There we go. Now I won here, so it's... That's fine. A reasonably okay attack general is useful in this situation. And here, even though you're all... Let's just at least get you to not have the minus two. We're having no general. Um, you're not exposed. Let's have this army come down here. See if we'll end up being able to cut off the retreat of this force before it's too late.
There's a bit of a risk splitting this army, but... Should be okay. Probably it would have had some better options for splitting, but... Meh. That's not going to go well for you, Germany. I think they're just desperate at this point. Pouring in as many troops as they can along the front. That's one that currently, like, it looks like it's a good move for them. You know, everything that, based on everything that they know right now, but... Just send some extra reinforcements. Ooh, they got a bad roll there, too. Okay, their army tech isn't super far behind mine. There we go. That's that one. And there we go on that one. So, time to start thinking about if there's anything I want from anyone in here. Like, I remember I was thinking about maybe doing something to get some of these colonies. You know, get myself the ivory, co the ivory and the windward coasts. That would be actually a fair amount of uh, infamy, though. So maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should just go for the war goal that's in there, get some prestige for winning this. Um, if this were great wartime, I'd really want a lot, but... Fortunately, like, infamy-wise, there's just not much I can do here, you know? Like, I could go... At a war goal, but like, acquire state, that's like, 11 infamy. And even if I go like, add war goal, you know, place in the sun, well that's only 10 infamy. I mean, still 10 infamy, that's... I can only get one colony out of this. I guess I could, uh, you know, get some prestige out of it. You know, add war goal. Humiliate UK. It's only three prestige. Or three, uh, rather. And. Um. That'd be 40 more prestige for me, which. isn't nothing. But, nah. I think for now, I might just do. Let them have the peace. You know, it's, it's stopping them from being able to form Germany, which in the long run will be pretty good for me. Because then I can, you know, super easily beat them in any war. Who goes with what? I'm gonna assume these two go together. I think, yeah, they go together, that's for sure. Well, that, that went okay. I won the war, so that's good. 
I got some prestige out of it, so, you know. Yay. Oh, right. Columbia. Add to Sphere. Which means I can now... Build the Panama Canal. And now I go over to here. And... Ban the Naval Base, Fort Railroad. And make sure that it's got some factories. I don't need too many. Um, since, you know, like, there's not going to be a whole bunch of dudes there, but, you know, a factory. Anyway, very nice. And now, like, I know I can just utterly de defeat anyone. And honestly, now, like, I don't care that much about Columbia. I mean, I'll, I'll keep them. They're, you know, they're they're worth having. Get me some RGOs and stuff, but I don't actually care that much about Columbia being in my sphere anymore. I just wanted them for the canal. But, you know, what else? Italy's still a secondary power. They, they often become great power, though, so... You know. Keep an eye on them. That was a pretty easy war, though. Now, I want to start thinking, do I have any... Any nations I want to release. Um, you know, like Fiji. Um, Free State of Guyana. Interesting, is that? Yeah, these two guys. I mean, they are a colony, so... I wonder, though, they have some Dutch people there, so... If I tried to get bureaucrats there, would I be able to uh, make them into a state? Who knows, maybe... That being said, I'm kind of in a... Ooh, I can get airplanes. I don't care that much, though, about airplanes. to do. Oh man. Russia, they uh, they took a big chunk out of China there. Let's build another complete army. Down here and my various Asian territories. So, sphere-wise... Yeah, like, Germany doesn't have any of those other German states in their sphere. Oh. No one has Serbia sphered. I'll work on sphering them. Anything with these armies down here, just let them, let them chill. Um, more infantry. That being said, like at some point, getting some of these colonies off of Britain could be very nice. Until then, let's look at some of our other possible wars here. Like, part of me is like it'd be super tempting to go after Burma, but they're not connected to my other stuff. I need to sphere Luang Pra Bong 
to make sure I keep access. Oh, Cambodia. Don't know if it would be worth to establish protectorate. And I can't establish protectorate on them because they're too big. Man, Russia's in a bit of a war there. Still, I think this was a this was a good war for me, just to assert my might. And uh, hopefully, future ones go, but better. Well, as you know, and hopefully, great wars come out soon. But if not, eh, it is what it is. For now, I'm ending the episode here. Thank you for watching.